Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School back with another video in our series, Gear of the 20th Century Woodsman. Today we're going to talk about a gentleman who made lots and lots of contributions to recreational outdoorsmen throughout the early 20th century. And we're going to talk about one of his most acclaimed products first, and that is Webster Marbles. And Webster Marbles started his company in 1892 and he contributed several items that were very innovative and unlike others into the outdoor community and one of them was the waterproof match safe or match box as he called it when he patented it in June of 1900. So let's talk about the way matches were carried before that and then talk about this marbles match case. Stay with me. Hey, I'm living good. Back in the woods. Okay, so first let's talk about matches for a minute really quick, and I don't claim to be a match expert by any means. But by the mid-1800s, matches were what they called a strike anywhere match. You could strike it on a rough surface and it would ignite. And most people carried their matches by that time period in what was called a Vesta box. And a Vesta was the name for these smaller matches, and they were shorter than the matches that we see today. Uh, a regular size Strike Anywhere match won't fit in this Vesta box. And Vesta was the name of the match given to it after a Roman deity of fire and hearth. That's why it was called a Vesta case. And they made these in lots of different decorative designs and out of many materials. This one probably from the Spanish-American War period in silver. And it had a striker on the bottom of it where you could strike a strike anywhere match and ignite the match. The problem with these Vesta boxes is that they were not waterproof. So in 1900, Marble Webster decided that he wanted to create a match case or a Vesta case that would hold strike anywhere matches and keep them safe for the outdoorsman in case it were submerged in water or in case the outdoorsman fell into water or something like that or his equipment fell into the water, that he would still be able to start fires. And so part of his patent said that this match case was waterproof. And the way he accomplished that was by putting a rubber gasket in a hinged lid that the container actually screwed up into this direction to tighten it up. And this allowed the matches to be safe from water, at least for a certain amount of time. And to get them out, you would just unscrew the capsule and then swing the lid out of the way to retrieve the matches. And there was a knurled striking surface on the outside of the case so that you had your match striker built into the case, much like the old Vesta cases had as well. So that was one of the most innovative things that marbles came up with for the outdoorsman and there were lots and lots of items that he that he patented over time and we'll talk about a few of them in this series but i think that this waterproof match safe which many 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 are copied after today and they still produce this same match safe although it's not produced in gladstone michigan anymore it's produced in asia but it is the same design from the same patent from 1900 maybe not quite as good a quality as the original this one happens to be an original here. I have a few of these in my collection. You can buy originals off of sites like eBay and places like that fairly inexpensively if you want to buy one. But it is a very ingenious design. It's very smart because you won't lose the lid no matter what you do. You have a striking surface on the outside, and because the capsule screws up forward and tight to a seal inside, you have a waterproof capsule for your matches. All right, guys, well, that was just a really short video before I take off and leave to go down south for a couple weeks to teach, things like that. When I get back, I will continue in this series, but I wanted to bring you just one more quick video on this Marbles Match Safe because I think it's one of the most important things that was developed for the outdoorsman during the early 20th century period because it allowed the sportsman to carry matches in a waterproof container. That wasn't something he had to make himself. It wasn't a bottle that he had to put a cork in or anything like that, like many of the old trappers used to do. It was a case that was designed with that intent. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business. 
to all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.